Hey everybody, this is Paint, and uh, a few people have been asking me about what my controls are set to for piloting, so I figured I would go through and uh, tell you guys a little bit about uh, uh, just a couple things that I've figured out. So I'm going to hit escape and go to configure and go to controls. And right now I'm using um, the SciTech ProFlight controller and the combat rudder pedals as, long as, as well as uh, track IR. Uh, under plane movement, um, I have the thrust set to pushing forward will give me um, a thrust moving forward. But for uh, analog braking, I do not have it set to pulling back on the stick. What I have instead is I've set up um, one of the hat views, which I don't use because I have track IR. But I've set one of the hat views, which is um, point of view forward, as a brake. And let me just show you what that looks like from the third person. So right now, if I move the throttle all the way forward, I speed up. If I move it all the way back, it basically just cuts the thrust, but it doesn't brake at all. So if I want to brake, I just basically put the ha push the hat button forward. And as you can see, it breaks the aircraft. If I let go, it releases. This works similar to how a car works, actually. I know there's a lot more feel to a car's brakes than on and off. But um, the result is that when you hit the hat view up and you apply the brakes, the air brakes, it, it seems to feel very similar to a car. Let me just see if I can move in closer to this, uh, this AI, which is flying at a consistent altitude and speed. So I'm hitting the brakes right now. You can see how close I can get to them using uh, the joystick and the throttle. So I can slow down the throttle but I'm still going too fast. So right now I'm just tapping the brakes until I get to this around the same speed. So that's pretty good. I can just increase the throttle a little bit. So basically, my point is, is that this gives me a lot more control uh, because I can have the throttle be set a little bit too high, but if I hit the brakes, it won't matter. So that's pretty good. Let's see if I can hit the brakes, let him speed up a little bit, and I'll get a little bit closer. I'm not really changing the throttle right now, I'm just very slightly tapping it forward. If I wanted more control, what I could do is, uh, hit the brakes a little bit, switch over to the mouse, which has much more fine-tuned control. Like now I'm just using the mouse and the throttle. So now if I wanted to get really tight in, I have a lot more control. So if I start to drift in any one direction, I can just very easily correct it with the mouse. Anyway, that's one trick I wanted to show you guys. Uh, the other trick I wanted to show you is um, with the helicopters. For the helicopters, basically what I've done is I've mapped the throttle uh, to the collective in a specific way. Basically, when I have the throttle pushed all the way forward, the collective is all the way down. Now, this is pretty much the opposite of how you would have it set up for an airplane but it seems to work pretty well for me. Uh, I definitely have to do some mental uh, jumping jacks to uh, switch from an airplane to uh, back to a helicopter. I tend to always want to pull the throttle backwards uh, when I want to give less collective, but um, you know, that's, that's just part of the learning curve. <coughs> um, I also have the rudders set up so that when I push the right rudder, 
uh, it turns to the right. And when I push the left rudder, left pedal, it goes to the left. Now, one of the specific changes uh, that you guys might not know about is that if I go into configure and controls, and I go to my helicopter movements, I basically have, I do not have the collective lower mapped to anything. Uh, instead, I have collective rays mapped to both the um, forward and backward motion of the throttle. So basically I have it set up so that the plus is on top of the minus so that when I push the throttle all the way forward the helicopter will, will lower in altitude. Now if you want to reverse this you just put the minus in front of the plus or minus above the plus. Now what this does is this gives me extremely subtle control over the altitude of the aircraft so if I very just very slightly raise up the collective, I have extremely precise control. Push the left pedal in, so I make a left turn. Now, um, one of the annoying things about using a mouse for control of turning is that, let's say I wanted to do a, a circle around this tower here. Now to do that, I would have to turn in this direction and then move the nose up. So basically I have to move the mouse forward until I run out of mouse pad. And it's kind of a herky-jerky move. If I try really hard, I can get it so that it's pretty smooth. But then I run out of mouse pad right here. I have to pick up the mouse, move it backwards, and then push it up again. And it's basically, it's just a pain in the butt. So instead, what I do is I just switch my right hand back to the, the joystick, pull it in one direction, and I can do this move very, very easily. Just making very slight changes. It's much smoother. And my hand is moving a lot less. I have a lot more control. So basically, my rule of thumb is if I'm high up in the air, I use the joystick and the throttle for the collective. If I'm close to the ground, I switch over to the mouse because I have a lot more control. Now the one thing with the throttle mapped in this way is that it's pretty sensitive. So when I move it, I have to be sure I'm moving it specifically how I want to. I can't just like jerk it and hope that the engine will catch up and not make such a big move. just slightly moving it back towards me and I'm already up and off the off the ground. Well it's nice, I like it. It's very I have so much control this way and I highly recommend that you guys do the same thing. Anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys. Uh, if you have any questions please feel free to post in the comments and please subscribe to these videos and let me know uh, what other kind of content you'd like to see.